What's up everybody, my name is Pauline. I am a physical therapist and you are watching Clinical Sprinkles. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that's really, really important for me and I learned this through my orthopedic residency that I completed through many, many hours of mentorship. This concept is called test retest. This is used a lot for clinicians who wanna make sure that the intervention that they're giving is effective. During the initial evaluation, a physical therapist should be identifying the key findings that the patient is restricted in, whether it's range of motion, it's strength, coordination, whatever it may be, pain as well, we need to make sure that we're really efficient at what we're providing them so that they're feeling better. So on the follow-up visits, this goes for physical therapists or PT assistants as well because you wanna be collecting objective findings every single time. I would start the session with a subjective, collect what's going on, and then you're gonna follow up with a test. So say, for example, we're gonna do shoulder flexion. Shoulder flexion was painful and limited the first visit, so we're gonna test it on the second visit. Then we're gonna provide the interventions that we wanted to give, so whether that be joint mobilization, stretching, soft tissue, a modality, heat, cold, ice, anything that you do, a strengthening exercise, anything that you do, you're gonna retest it afterward. The idea within the first few sessions is that you're trying to weed the ones that are gonna be the most effective for the patient. Some early clinicians, including myself, would be really conscious about, oh, but I don't wanna make the patient get up and down and retest every single time. You should, because then the patient and you realizes, okay, that one intervention was really helpful. <laughs> We're gonna keep using it for future visits retesting it each time to make sure that it's still effective and helping the helping to make progress. If you have the patient lay down and you do three or four things at once, you get them back up to sitting and then retest flexion and it's better, you don't really know which one of those things made it better. So then your inclination is probably to be, let's do, keep doing those four things again and then eventually the patient will get better. But to be a skilled and efficient clinician, you should be testing and retesting every single time until you can kind of get a groove of, okay, this was helpful, let's keep doing it. So I think for one, efficiency, and then for two, patient buy-in, have them realize like, oh yeah, that one thing that you did didn't help me as much or even made me feel worse. This helps is like a process of elimination of what's gonna make you and the patient feel better. I'm the type of physical therapist that don't doesn't like to waste time. I wanna make sure that you're getting the most out of your time with me, and then also providing different tools so that when you go home, that you're able to continue to do what I was giving you, providing you, and then how to make sure the pain doesn't come back. And this is a great way to do that. Sometimes the interventions can even be an exercise, like repeated extension, or it could be a rotator cuff exercise that helps with coordination with lifting up the shoulder. So what we wanna do is really show the patient like, hey, do these things and you're gonna get better, you're gonna feel better, and this is exactly why. It's because we tested and immediately found results afterward. Use your best clinical judgment. You're gonna realize that not everything is gonna have a quick fix and some things may not make sense for it to feel better right away, but there are a lot of instances where you can do something and make them feel better or move better. Maybe you won't eliminate their pain altogether, but maybe they have more mobility after you had worked on them. So to be a better and more efficient clinician, use test retest, be consistent with it. Your patients will appreciate you for it and you're gonna become better at recognizing patterns of conditions and treatments that go really well together. Thank you all for watching another episode of Clinical Sprinkles. I appreciate you guys watching the video to this point. If you have any questions, you can always reach me on my Instagram page. It's called Clinical Sprinkles. I also have a website called clinicalsprinkles.com. My website offers services to pre-PT, current PT, and student physical therapists. If you need help in any way, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to be a resource for you. As always, please like and subscribe to my page so that you don't miss out on future episodes. And I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.